Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's Tuesday tutorials. I'm going to do a tutorial on this look right here, which is my signature summer look, my go-to look. Um, you know, if I'm not feeling super duper inspired and I just want something that's, you know, for the most part glam, but nothing too overboard, no, nothing too extraordinary. This is the look I go for. It's super duper easy. So I thought I would share this look with you guys today to maybe give you some inspiration. If you're in a slump and sometimes you just don't feel like wearing makeup, but you want to wear makeup, but you don't know what to do, maybe you could just go with the look that I go to. It's just a simple look for me for the summertime that I like to do on a daily basis when I don't feel like doing nothing. Wabam, if that makes any sense. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look right here, then just keep watching. For foundation, I'm using my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in 220. I think this may be a little bit too light for right now, but we are going to make it work. And I'm just using my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge. I really love this sponge. I don't even know if I've really talked about this sponge on my channel yet. Um, I really, really, really like this sponge a lot. It's it's a really good one. So I'm just kind of spreading it around with my beauty sponge. And then I'll just go pouncing and blend it into the skin. And I think it is maybe a shade or two too light for right now. But we shall make it work. For concealer today, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And I'm going to use that same sponge to blend that in. Yeah. To set my concealer, I'm going to use my Cody Airspun powder in translucent. And I'm just going to... Hang on, Kai. I'm just going to tap that all over the places I just put my concealer. Next, going in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. I'm going to go in with the bronzing side. And I'm just going to warm up my face. Next for blush, I'm going to use my Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Love Hangover. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with one of the highlighters from the Carly Bible Palette. I think I'm going to use this first one, this pinky toned one. No, maybe I'll use the second one. Kind of a champagne, gold tone highlighter. Very pretty. So 
next I just sprayed my face with my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. <coughs> I'm just going to grab my fan and I'm going to let that settle into my skin. Then I'm going to do my brows and I'll be right back for eyes. Okay, so for eyes, um, I normally just do a real simple eye look. Um, you can go in with any neutral warm tone palette for the look that I'm going to do today. It's going to be very, very simple because in the summertime, I do not feel like putting on full glam every day of the week. So, I'm going to use, today I'm going to use my um, Tarte Tartiste Pro eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to use this bottom row right here. Um, it's just the brown tones in the palette. I'm going to go in with the shade Bold for my transition color. So, let me zoom you in. There we go. So I'm just going to kind of tilt my head back and with a large fluffy brush, I'm going to start applying that shade bold right here as my transition color. Focusing the majority of the color out here on the outer edge of my crease. And then just blending inward with what's left over on my brush. I'm going to go in with a smaller um, fluffy blending brush, just one that's a little bit more dense. And I'm going to go in with the shade Edgy, which is the brown shade. I'm going to tap in slightly, tap off my excess, and I'm going to apply this right into my crease just to further define my eyes. Going back in with my initial fluffy brush I used for the first transition shade. And I'm going to blend over the edges of the shade. Edgy. Might even dab back into bold just to blend the edges of that. Next, I'm going to focus on the lower lash line. I'm just going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Edgy, very lightly, tap off my excess, and I'm going to run this on the lower mm -hmm. lash line. With a flat definer brush, with a flat definer brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Punk, which is the matte black in the palette. And I'm going to stamp that onto my waterline on the lower lashes. Go back in with a pencil brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Bold now, which is the color I use for my transition shade. And I'm going to blend both of those colors out. My eyes watering makes it a little bit hard to blend colors when your eyes watering using that pencil brush I'm going to tap into the shade pump which is the matte black and I'm going to apply that right here in that little spot right at the outermost portion of my eyelid it's right there just for a little bit of definition. Next, using a shader brush, just a flat brush to pack the shadow on. I'm gonna go in with the shade Classic, which is the first shadow in the palette. It is a matte, creamy color. And I'm gonna apply that across my entire lid. When I, get, when I got to the black on the outer corner, I initially had my brush like this going across. When I got to the black, I kind of held it up like this and just kind of smudged it around just to blend that cream color and that black together. Since this is an all matte eye look, I'm going to go over here in the shade Glam 
which is the second duo chrome shade in the palette just very very lightly and then I'm going to use that for my brow highlight it's nothing too overly metallic or dramatic just an, a little bit of sparkle just to draw some attention to the brows I'm also going to use the shade Glam for my inner corner highlight. And guys, that is it. That is, I don't do any kind of liner on the top during the summer. I am going to apply mascara and I will complete this video. But for my signature summer look, like my go-to look for the summer, something fast, easy, but glam, this is a look that I go for. Um, I just think it's very pretty. It's very daytime appropriate. You can add a little bit and make it very nighttime appropriate if you want to make it a little bit darker. But for me, in the daytime, this is my perfect look. I'm going to apply my mascara and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so that's it. That's it for today's tutorial. Super easy, like I said in the intro. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe before you leave be sure to hit the notification bell also that way you will be notified of all my future uploads and any activity that is happening on my channel so i'll see you guys tomorrow i love you have a good evening bye